Hello, my name is Pig Venus. I am a shareholder of Extends and a cousin to Kevin Conway. That's what got me here. I'm interviewing last week's winner, Casey K. Casey, you won last week, but my question has nothing to do with that. My cousin and I are big proponents of Extends. Have you heard of the product? Yeah, I've heard of it. Have you found yourself wanting to feel stronger? Wanting to have more stamina? And wanting to leave your partner more pleased? Did the extends make you lose your hair? Whoa, whoa, whoa! That has not been scientifically proven. What's happening, everybody? I am Mike Gomrose, and welcome back to NASCAR 2013 season! Got these tight-ass pants on today, and my ankles are sweating! Boy, oh boy, was last week special out in New Hampshire! Out in Loudoun, New Hampshire! I didn't realize they ripped the old track down and they put up some Talladega Daytona Hybrid in its place. We were getting beef bobs and skiddly dupes all around that track. I consider myself lucky to have gotten out of there with a 30 second. I'm lucky that I got out of there alive. That baloney 30 second place finish dropped us like a big old sack of hot potatoes down to fifth. And points! You see how damn far behind I am from Steve Harvey now? Steve Harvey remains the points leader. Then it's Hamster, Elton John, Old Man Bushy. And well, I already told you who was in fifth! Biggest development in the points after New Hampshire was that Darb Keselowski bumped up into the top ten. So now he doesn't need a wild card anymore. He, he's just good. Somehow, with all the points shakeups, Chef Boyardee continues to find himself last spot in on points in the chase. Wild card number one resides in Bushy Bushy Bitch's hands. And wild card number two, Marcos Polo. He's got it. He right now has a 22 point buffer over the next guy with the dub. Jet Dryer Montoya. And then 112 points behind Marcos Polo is Scott Speedless. If any one of these guys, though, in this top 20, 11 through 20 area, they get a win at any point in the next seven weeks, that is going to make some crazy wild card battle. I feel like I haven't made as big a deal of this as I really should be. Seven weeks remain, only that's the seven races you've got to make your way into the chase. There are a bunch of these bums that just keep letting me win, Candy Cane, Hamster, I don't know if Hamster's won, but they gotta pull some stuff out of the butt. They need it, Dub, they need it now. It's now or you're not gonna make the chase. I hear today, after the success that New Hampshire was, that they're going to be implementing some sort of ramps and, and possibly some pulleys on the track at the Brickyard. So maybe one of those idiots can find a way to use a lies all that weird stuff and get themselves a trophy. It is one of the biggest races of the year. Let's get the video started and let's make love to the bricks. Let's go! Hello everyone, Mike Joy and Daryl Walter welcoming you to the greatest race course in the world for the Your Hero's Name Here 400 at the Brickyard. Mike went out this morning, played around the golf, came in, watched the cars go around the track. Uh, this place, so much tradition, so much history. This is a track that you just got to win on. IndyCar since 1911 and NASCAR since 1994. Who will cross the yard of bricks first today? Jeff Gordon. Put your money on Jeff Gordon. He's the man. Well, Jeff has more wins here than anyone else in the field. But at Indianapolis, this could be anybody's day. It's all about maintaining track position. Mighty, mighty, mighty. Last race across the bridge, boys and girls. Last two weeks. Daryl and Mike have made some crazy predictions. Mike said that New Hampshire was going to be a super speedway, and Daryl almost correctly predicted David Reagan winning Daytona. I just booped their pick out of the way, so I don't know if he's winning today. We're on our way from the brickyard. The whole point of what I was saying there was that they picked. Oops, Jeff Gordon Ramsey, at least Daryl did. Watch your freaking self, bitch! Could he pull it off? He needs a dub badly. Tony the Tiger, did your spotter not see me? Whoa, yeah, I'm fast. 
I'm really fast, all right. I was hoping I was gonna have something for the pole, but it, it turned out once again that I did it. But I closed my 15th, but take, which it, it ain't bad. Typically, we're way worse than that. So, I think we're gonna be pretty good today. Last time, oh, kiss the wall. Last time we ran here in the inside line, it was a little bit nuts. It was a little bit like New Hampshire last week. Everybody just driving in walls, driving into each other. I was wondering if we were gonna see some of that again today, but so far it's been pretty clean. I mean, the good, good run. Oh! Keep rolling. Oh! Yeah, we're gonna kick some ass today. This is gonna be a typical. Oh, fuck no! I was gonna say typical Jibba Brickyard. This is gonna be one of those brickyards where Jibba didn't win and he ran like hot steaming trash. Holy Christ, it is so tight now. I'm just going off into that corner and it didn't want to turn. And we're on fresh tires. You know how bad this shit's gonna be when I can't turn with the gold proper. I just spit all over my shit. I, I saw projectile spit, catapult out my lips, off the tongue, and onto my thing now. It's probably not good because it's electronics. Even with this damage in a lap, I have put two and a half seconds down on Bushy Bushy Bitch. This, this is like Bushy Bushy Bitch at the brickyard for like those two years, but then he got wrecked in this corner by like T-Rex or something, and, and then he was never the same. I'm somehow still getting quicker. What the hell is this? They're like not even trying. I, this is on the hardest difficulty. Why some weeks is it so damn miserable racing the AI and they're so tough. But then other weeks like this, I could literally steer with my penis and I'd still be rocking and rolling. I could steer with my penis. That whole extends family. Bunch of fucking crooks. It doesn't work. I've tried. What? What? I might go fishing out on that pond. In a minute, let these guys catch up. Oh, God! That, that is the only thing that could derail us in this race. The walls, they sneak up on you. I'm single-handedly killing the Brickyard 400. They're gonna run the road course next season. Doing some basic arithmetic. We'll be able to make it to like right smack dab halfway into this race on fuel. The way things have gone before with the AIs in this game, they won't do that. They'll pit twice when I pit once. Oh. <laughs> That wall doesn't have safer barrier on it. This is gonna rank right up there with the 2008 Brickyard 400. And people, I can see them, they're headed for the doors. Brian France is up in his penthouse suite right now, stroking his cob, thinking, how could I make this more fucked up? I could hire an expert sharpshooter that's blindfolded to just start shooting at the cars. Maybe a driver might get hit, maybe a tire might get hit. That'll get the fans engaged. If this goes on like this and I get up into that lap traffic, yeah, lap traffic at the Brickyard, that could cause a caution. You have fun out there? Yes, there's always some shit that happens in these races. Always, every single week. So it may seem super straightforward right now. Too fast, man. Check up. Check up. Exhibit A. Honestly, it seems like it's still handling. Okay, maybe it's a little bit more. Uh, might be a little bit tighter. I got a 20 second lead though. We've got 20 seconds and they're not pitting yet. That's pretty surprising. Look at all them skin marks. That's from me. I didn't want. They're still staying out. What the fuck? Keep an eye on that fuel, buddy. Then you won't run on fumes. Nas when you have to. NASCAR 2013. NASCAR 2013 grew a brain. Some of them pitted. Not a lot, not many, but some. I have one more lap to push it. But we got to come in this time. We're gonna be able to split this race exactly in half. There's still people that, damn! 
AI getting smart here! Let's be careful, let's not be speeding here. Because I've got a good many speeding penalties because my brakes don't work too well. No, we're not, we're not speeding, we're not speeding. Nothing to see here, everybody. There we go. Fix the damage, fill it up. All this other shit. Leave the hell alone. Wow, this is a first. Ah! Welcome to Michael Moves' Mid-Race Report! Presented by Gas Can Water. We're making our pit stop directly, right split down the middle of the race. I'm cutting a, a piece of bread, a loaf, in half. So, that little kid can have a half, and that little kid can have a half. But I'm gonna go hungry. Our race car ain't hungry though. It actually is hungry. It's fiending for a trophy. It is big freaking fast, man. We are killing it right now. 23 second lead coming down on the pits. And as long as I don't smack the wall any more times, which you know, that that's, remains to be seen, we'll be all right. And we're gonna collect a big trophy and a big fucking check. We really have absolutely nothing to worry about. It seems like the AI is being super chill today and not really doing anything dumb. They're racing smart. They're pitting when they're supposed to be pitting so they can make it to the end of the race. I, I cannot believe how badly though I'm smacking them over the head with my penis. Only thing now that could screw this is the yellow. This has been Michael Moves. This has been Race Report presented by Gas Can Water. Damn, they made it so far. Probably they can make it further because they're like saving the fuel and shit. There. Come on, man. Take because they're so slow. 29 fucking seconds! Pit stops. Car what? Pit. Why we got pit stops? Carlos Jr., why the fuck you all the way back here? 39! Good god, man! Put in a little effort for the Geek Squad. Car up top. Uh oh. Go down low. I foresee a caution in our future. I sure hope that didn't damage my wheel! I knew Carlos Jr. was sensitive, but Jesus Christ! I had like a 33 second lead, man. And now it's down to 27. Pim! I'm honestly surprised that wasn't a yellow. I'm surprised the big old penis by France wasn't slapped on that yellow button. 10 to go, and I have exactly 10 laps of fuel remaining. That's a little concerning. I know it'd be dumb of me to dump Carlos Jr. But ain't nobody treat Jibba like that. I might have to enact some big dick energy just to let Carlos Jr. know who the fuck is boss around Time these parts. I won't wreck him. I might just punt him like a football. Hey, buddy. <laughs> bitch. Whoa. He's not to be fucked with. If there's one thing I'm learning, it's you leave Carlos Jr. the hell alone or you get his by him as fast as possible. Why? Why? Literally all the smart brain cells you guys had on the first run. You farted out with the exhaust of your go. race car! I'm not gonna be patient with you bastards. I got stuff to do. Races to win. You see who's next? You see who the hell is next? How the hell did you win here, man? Be it all the way this far behind. Please move, dummy. I'm the one that ended up in the wall. He's the one that kept his shit going straight, not hitting anything. Five to go. And apparently he's the dummy. Move! A simple bump draft would suffice. I am up by 40 seconds. 40 whole seconds. This is pathetic. This is the worst show. How this game, it like, they're just like two opposite ends of the spectrum with it. The AI are either ultra competitive or you just curb stomp the fuck out of them. I prefer the ultra competitive stuff. This cakewalk nonsense. I ain't about it, about it. Big top slow. Elton, oh, Elton John. That's not a good, good run for Elton John. 
top five in points. He's been running up there all season. He's a ways back in the pack. More pit stops. So stupid. You guys, you have the fuel. What are you doing? This is the most uh, traffic we've seen. Could this be an issue in the last lap and a half? I just, I don't gotta wreck nobody and, and I'll be fine. We don't need a restart. We'll be all right here. They're side by side. I, I would like to get through. Fuel. He's fucked. I mean, this late caution is going to add a couple laps. It's not over just yet. You coming in, buddy? You staying out? I can't make it two laps. I have to pit. They're all they're all pitting. They're all pitting. Why did Baltimore Why did he slow down so much? I think we can use a little more tape too. We're ready when you Why are, did he pal. slow down so much? Is my number one question. Why did he slow down so much? He didn't have to slow down like that. He did it. I don't know why he slowed down that much. I literally had to navigate one corner. One single corner and like half a straightaway. And. Anything that happens after that, uh, it's fine. Now I gotta survive this shit. Well, that's a nice restart. Nice and smooth. You're way We're, out in front. We aren't way out in front. You just said I was All way right, out in front. I don't think door. I am. He's hagging. He's at no. Clear, 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 all clear. I'm not really that worried. All clear. As long as I don't fuck it and hit the wall or something. We're, we're already driving away. That, that was kind of dumb. Should I have just stuck it to the outside? Yeah. Could I have screwed myself by doing that? Possibly. Because you run real close on the doors of these guys on the outside of them, and they're liable to get wobbly and get up into you and, and knock you into the wall. So, Come on, Victor Lane, buddy. This is it. I was just looking to follow him through, but Man, he's so slow. If I was one of those guys, or a bunch of them, I would have taken two tires there just to say fuck it, but they lost their brain cells the second half of that race. They weren't anywhere near as smart as they were the first half. It would have put me back in the pack a bit. I would have had to charge my way up through there. The car is fast enough where we probably could have done it, but I will never know. I'm happy, dominant victory. No one had shit for us. My fastest lap, the last lap of the race. You'll love to see it. Jim, I won! This is a lot harder than it looks. This shit's so narrow. I'm trying to leave some rubber on the bricks for when I tongue them. Ray Everham did tell me to beat the shit out of this thing on burnouts because it was so freaking illegal. Yeah, Jim! At least you stayed it on the car this time. And you're not just standing on the ground, just pumping your fists up in the air, acting like an idiot. That was incredible. Victory Lane suits you, buddy. You know what suits you? The insane asylum. Two seconds faster than, like, the next fastest people. You never know what you're going to get with this game week to week. Candy Cane showing he got a little bit of speed in 2013. Good run for you, Jeff Gordon Ramsay. Try to get your shit together. Trying to get a chase spot. We might have to add a 13th chase bat just to make sure Jeff Gordon Ramsay makes it in this year. This fucking baby. How about Blanket getting a top 15 run? Very nice. Robbie Gardner with the top 22. Keep on chugging, spirit animal. The Danica backs up her best career finish in the Indy 500. Yikers. Ha! What the fuck were you doing? Not bad. Still a fuck ton behind Steve Harvey. But not bad! Chef Boyardee continues to hang on to the 10th spot, distancing himself from 11. Push, push, bitch! All the way up to 13th now. Still wild card number one. Ooh! Neither one of them in the top 20? That means y'all's wins don't count. So we're going to points. So that means the boof is your second wild card at the moment. Isn't it crazy how much the 11th place guy sees in? hinges on whether or not these two can get into the top 20. 
So that also hinges on Giggles Logano and Pastrami over here running well. They really screwed up when they got rid of the wild card system. Things are going to be interesting these next six weeks. Yes, that is all that remains. A month and a half before we start the chase for the Sprint Cup. We're secure in the chase though. There are a ton of other people that are not. And that's going to be very interesting to watch the next month and a half. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you guys for watching. I love eh, eh, every single last one of you. And well, I'll... See you in the next one. Goodbye!